Hello friends, welcome to the JCE Connect. Today we are going to start the module number 5 that is valuation. I am Professor Bala Sahib Chamada. Now this valuation usually you know, whatever the properties will be there. Those property, properties supposed to be want to get the marketable rate of those properties. We do the valuation. Valuation of a building or a property is the method of calculating the present marketable cost of a building. Now that we do uh, usually we go for the buildings uh, for the buildings it depends on the sort of building it is or uh, the kind of a structure its durability location size shape width of a road frontage type quality of a building materials used and the cost of the materials which will be there for that particular thing usually in short it is the uh, valuation of a building or the property that we are going to calculate based on the present marketable cost now the content what we are going to discuss here is the first we are going to discuss the purposes that what uh, technical terms in the valuation methods in the valuation so first we'll go for the purpose of valuation now here if you see uh, buying or a selling of a property you know that if you have constructed a building or old building is there and then you want to sell it now say you constructed a building in 2006 and you are going to sell it now in two, no, 2020 now how it is going to be so uh, buying or selling property when it is required to buy or sell a property no, uh, you require the valuation then uh, taxation to access the tax of a property its valuation is required tax may be a multiple tax wealth tax property tax and all taxes are fixed on the valuation of the property nowadays if you go to the uh, even uh, municipal uh, no, even if you go to the corporation or even if you go to the panchayat, even a uh, town municipal, town municipality, if you go there and if you ask the uh, in general terms what we call the uh, no, dossiers of a house or a utara, then they will ask you the valuation. Now, what will be the valuation of the building? Even if you want to go to take the you know, uh, any kind of a loan, if you want to do the mortgages, there also they are going to ask you the valuation. So this valuation is uh, very important, right? Uh, the access as, as I said that the you know uh, the tax different tax what we are going to pay for the municipal and for the wealth and all those things are going to be considered here by this valuation only then the rent uh, function in order to determine the rent valuation is required rent is usually fixed on the certain percentage of the amount of valuation which is 6% to 10% of valuation now uh, the cost what you have invested into the construction of a building that you have to regain or you have to earn from then then you should know the valuation of your asset then only you can fix the rent what we are going to give for the uh, the, the the individuals security of loans or the uh, mortgage when loans are taken against the security of a property its valuation is required as i previously discussed that when you're going to do the uh, mortgages or when you're asking for the loan from the banks they ask the valuation valuation of your property either it may be land or it may be a building then uh, the compulsory acquisition whenever a property is acquired by the law a compensation is paid to the owner to determine the amount of compensation valuation of property is required valuation of a property is also required for insurance betterment charges and speculations now if you take an example of uh, uh, no, uh, the uh, ring road of a Belgam, here you can see that you know, so many land there uh, has been acquired you know, surrounding to the Belgam city, the farmers are protesting against that. Now all those things, how to come up from that, now you have to pay the good amount for the land which you are acquiring. Right? So that valuation of land you should know or if the road is passing from the, uh, suppose it is passing uh, in the locality. right? household localities then the whatever the compensation will be there that is depending on the valuation what that particular house or that particular land is going to get so valuation plays a very important role in the you no know, acquisition process now we'll see the few of the te technical terms into the evaluation now first valuation is the technique of estimating or determining the fair price or the value of property such as building a factory or other engineering structures of a various types and lands etc expenditure the whole amount can be spent during the financial year or not that we call as what expenditure now this is a half sentence that what if you want to you know uh, thoroughly 
describe or thoroughly define the expenditure means the amount which you are expending or which you are spending uh, from the day one to the whole life of that particular structure that we call as what expenditure capital cost that is the total cost including all the expenditure incurred from the beginning to the completion of work provisional sum estimate of a bill quantities for some special work done by the specialist firm whose details are known at the time of preparation of estimation that we call as a provisional sum means the extra sum what you are using or extra amount what you are using for you no know, that particular changes in your uh, construction that you can cut you no know, term it as what provisional sum or the extra sum which you are going to add there the rate of cost the cost per unit of that subhead which is arrived at by dividing the top to, to, up to date final charges on a subhead by its up to date progress means it is the uh, you no know, uh, the total cost of that particular uh, asset now which you are going to get by dividing the total charges to the up to date charges that we called as what rate of cost then the plinth area all of you know that it is a covered area of a building measured at a floor level it is measured by the taking external dimensions excluding the plinth offset you no know, if any right so that we called as what plinth area rate rates followed are of a sanctioned schedule of rates or a non schedule this fact is to be mentioned under this subhead subhead means the uh, the work which you are going to carry out the you no know, uh, the pronunciation of that particular main head we called as what subhead then contingency incidental expenses of the miscellaneous character which cannot be classified approximately under any distinct subhead but is uh, added in the cost of construction necessary the contingency charges see rates what i am mentioning here the rates you can get from the scheduled rates yes sir it we call no scheduled rates which is which has been you no know, uh, which has been there uh, through the uh, no particular for the particular year which is going to be there from state government each state government is ha having different scheduled rate and along in the you no know, uh, along with the state you are going to have the different rates based on the availability of materials then contingency contingency is the extra charge extra charge what you are going to add to the total uh, amount that will be uh, your water uh, you know uh, water charges that may be your uh, you no know, uh, overhead charges that may be uh, contractors profit all those things we consider them as what contingency charges then salvage value it is the value of end of utility period without being dismantled suppose if you are having a house and you have constructed that house as i said say take a year in 2010 right then whatever value it will be having on that day and without with with with, with the all kind of facilities what it is having then to its total utility period uh, the time which you are using the whole asset right without dismantle that we called as what salvage value means it is thoroughly used value without any kind of a damage sinking fund the fund is gradually accumulated by a way of periodic on an annual deposit for the this for the replacement of a building or a structure at the end of its useful life means it is the fund which is you no know, uh, which you have earned or you can call it as you no know, which you have gone uh, which you have taken by its true life or through life the whatever annual deposits will be there of that particular uh, asset that we call as what sinking fund then depreciation depreciation is the gradual exhaust exhaustion uh, of a uh, usefulness of a property decrease or loss in the value of property due to its structural deterioration use life year and year decay and obsolescence that we call as what depreciation as you construct a building as you go on the number of days when it passes the number of years then the whatever the decrease of life will be there due to the wear and tear and obsolescence that we, whole term we call consider it as what depreciation the next is scrap value scrap value is the value dismantled material value of the dismantled material for the building when the life is over the end of utility period of a dismantled material as steel bricks timbers 
which fetches certain amount which is scrap value of a building right means here if you dismantle any building you'll be going to get the uh, good amount of a uh, bricks which are in a good shape or the stone if it is of a stone masonry you can get the uh, you know uh, different things so many things which will be there after a dismantling that you can reuse right so that we called as what scrap value though whatever amount it is going to gain after dismantling that we called as what scrap value then market value market value of a property is the amount which can be obtained at any particular time from the open market if the property is put for the sale the market value will differ from time to time according to the demand and supply the market value also changes from time to time for various miscellaneous reasons such as the change in the industry change in the fashions mean of transport cost of material and the labors now this is the see as i said there are two types of rates will be available for a civil engineers one is the market rate another one is the sr rate sr rate probably we use it for the construction of a governmental buildings where the sr rate are so no the difference between the sr and market is too high sr rate are at a higher side as you know, they are going to consider it for the you no know, different changes whereas the market rate will be the the probable rate or the exact rate what it will be there for the particular work without any kind of a changes as if in future there are any changes then the market rate is going to be changed but that that case will not be there for sr as that it is a higher side and it's going to be there for that particular period book value book value is the amount shown in the account book after allowing necessary depreciations the book value of a property at a particular year is the original cost minus the amount of depreciation allowed per year will be gradually re reduced year to year at the end of utility period of the property the book value will be only a scrap value capital cost capital cost is the total cost of construction including land or original total amount required to possess a property it is the original cost does not change while the value of property is present cost which may be calculated by the method of valuation then one more thing that what we have you know, uh, we are supposed to discuss is about the capitalized value of uh, uh, no uh, property uh, that is very important thing capitalized value of property there now uh, if you are see the age of property affects the valuation uh, of the building so the age of property should be known from the records or by the inquiries or from the visual inspection and the future life of building should be a certain the valuation of building is calculated uh, by finding the present day cost of the building and allowing a suitable depreciation the uh, the, the capital uh, the capitalized value will play a major role uh, you know it is the uh, as it is the amount of uh, whole annual interest at the highest prevailing rate of the interest will be equal to the net income from the property to determine the capitalized value of a property it is required to know the net income from the net income from the property and the highest prevailing rate of the property that you can easily determine here the formula what it says is that um, capitalized value is equal to net income into year of purchase then year of purchase year of purchase year of purchase is uh, defined as the capital sum required to be invested in order to receive a net you no know, net receipt you can call it as a net annual income as an annuity of rupee 1 at a fixed rate of interest the the capital sum should be 1 into 100 per rate of interest if it is 1 rupee a fixed rate of interest thus again on uh, again an annual income of a of of a rupees say that you are going to multiply at a fixed rate of interest the capital sum should be the whatever the things will be there that you are going to multiply uh, no uh, uh, 100 percent that is the rate of interest but uh, 100 that is percent means the rate of interest is termed as a years purchase the multiplier of the net annual income to determine the capital value is known as years purchase now if you remember this much it is enough the multiplier of the net annual income to the determine the capital value is known as the years purchase and it is useful to obtain the capitalized value of the 
property now these are the things that what you should understand you should know uh, before going for the problems before solving the problems of uh, valuation and it is very important that you know you should understand these terminologies now the next important thing is that how to go with the methods of valuation how to do the valuation now what we are having is that we are having different methods of valuation so that you can easily ascertain the valuation now if you take the methods of valuation uh, by the uh, no uh, by the uh, if you refer any book the few things you are going to get there in the methods of valuation and i just try to ascertain those things here uh, in this ppt is see you can get the valuation by the rental method or you can get the valuation by the uh, direct uh, no a direct comparison with the capital value a valuation based on the profit valuation based on cost and development method of valuation then depreciation method of valuation also see these these are the six different methods that we are going to have there rental method direct comparison method then the uh, valuation based on profit valuation based on cost and uh, development method of valuation depreciation method also so these are the different methods that what we are going to use uh, for the uh, valuation so this valuation will be there for a building as well as the land and when lands are uh, married with the building now you can use these methods so it will be uh, you no know, uh, very easy to get the valuation now uh, before going to the uh, remaining uh, parts of the valuation before going to the explanation of these things uh, one 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 important thing that what uh, i just want to you know uh, express is that you now different methods are there methods of valuation for open land also you can do and methods of valuation for land buildings also you can do and these methods are uh, very uh, useful when you will be having the land with the building uh, these all methods are important for the land with the building Now, as i said that it depends right the uh, uh, the urban the urban open lands can usually classified in the different way there also you can use these methodologies and the uh, the constructing appropriate structures over them and evaluating those structures are very important the farm land agricultural field they are capable of producing earning themselves the valuation method of urban open land will now be you now you can easily uh, no uh, uh, bifurcate that so simple if you take in simple words the comparative method and abstract method and belting method these are the methods which we are going to use for the open land but those we are not going to discuss here because generally we are going to concentrate on the land with the building right so that's why we are having these methodologies and these methods are rental method direct comparison uh, valuation based on a profit valuation based on a cost development method of evaluation and depreciation method of valuation well my friends we are going to stand uh, we are going to start the methods of uh, valuation uh, when the loads uh, when we are having the different uh, no technologies i said that uh, these are the few methods that you can uh, go for the valuation the uh, lands when you are having the lands with the buildings the following methods you can used for the valuation first one is rental method of valuation second one is direct comparison with the capital value then uh, valuation based on the profit valuation based on the cost and then development method of valuation then depreciation method of valuation now these are the few methods of valuation now we can see one by one now first one is that is rental method of valuation now in this method this uh, rental method of valuation in this method the net income by the way of rent is found out by the deducting all outgoing from the gross rent now whatever amount you are generating there now by taking that amount now whatever things will be there the expense the ex, you know, the expenditures will be there from that those expenditures you are going to deduct now that will be there in the rental method in this method usually the net income from the building is calculated by deducting all outgoings from the gross rent and year of purchase that is yp value is calculated by assuming a suitable rate of interest prevailing in the market uh, say for the example consider a rate of a 5% and the year of purchase will be 
say uh, 100 year if you take the life 100 divided by 5 percent then 20 year 20 year will be the year of purchase now a suitable rate of interest is to be prevailed in the market assumed and the year of purchase is calculated this net income multiplied by the year years purchase give the capitalized value of a valuation of a property this method is applicable only when the rent is known or a probable rent is determined by the inquiries and uh, the uh, the the net income multiplied by the year of purchase gives the capitalized value or values of the property this method is used only when the rate is uh, known or the probable rate is determined by the inquiries as I said previously also uh, here what I have written is that net, net income from the building is calculated by deducting all the outgoings from the gross rent year of purchase YP value is calculated by assuming a suitable rate of interest prevailing in the market for example consider as I said that 5% is the year of 5% you know, is the interest rate then the year of purchase will be 100 divided by 5 that is 20 years the net income multiplied by the year of purchase use the capitalized value or the value of property this method is used only when the rent is known or the probable rent is determined by the inquiries the next is uh, direct comparison with the capital value now here what you are going to do is that when the rental value is not known so you don't know the uh, total rental value this method of direct comparison with the capital value of a similar property in the locality used is known or you can compare that one right as i have written here see that uh, this method may be adopted when the rental value is not known, available from the property concern, but there, there are uh, evidence of sale price of property as a whole. In such cases, the capitalized value of a property is fixed by the direct comparison with the capitalized value of similar property in the locality. In general or in simple terms, say, if you know, uh, uh, if you know the, 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 the house property of a neighbor, that at what cost it is going to be sell or at what cost they have constructed this then you can compare the same kind of a property and then you can decide the uh, the valuation you can do the valuation of that now in this case the valuation of property is fixed by the direct comparison with the valuation or capitalized value of a similar property in the locality now that is that is the thing that what you have to do the next here what i have written is that see uh, in, you know uh, as i said that in simple word how we can get that the when the rental value is not known this method you are going to use then third method is valuation based on the profit this method now in this method of uh, valuation uh, it is suitable for the commercial properties uh, like uh, uh, you know hotels cinema theaters as i have written here or the uh, recreational centers also um, right uh, you can call it as you no know, uh, restaurants also shops coffee uh, coffee shops uh, so the, the the offices malls cinema theaters now all these for which the valuation depends on the profit in such cases the net annual income is used from the valuation after deducting all outgoings and the expenses from the gross income say the whatever the uh, expenses that also you have to deduct from the gross income and the valuation of building or the property is formed by multiplying the net income by years purchase now the uh, now this is the valuation in, in, in say in this case uh, no this case uh, can be too high in comparison with the actual cost of construction that that is very important that's the same thing i have written here all possible work expenses outgoings interest on the capital investment etc should be deducted then the net profit is multiplied by the years of purchase and you know the previous slide i have shown the years of purchase to get the capitalized value in such cases the valuation may work out to a high in comparison with the cost of construction uh, valuation based on the cost in this method the actual cost incurred in the constructing the building or in uh, processing the property is taken as a basis to determine the value of property in such cases necessary depreciation should be allowed and the all points of obsolescence should also be considered uh, now uh, here you know the, uh, the actual cost of construction of a building or the no, or the uh, or the cost incurred in possessing the building is considered and the determination of valuation of property can be done based on these things only and uh, necessary depreciation is allowed uh, points of obsolescence are considered in this method then the next is development method of valuation development method of valuation now here in this uh, 
this is suitable for the properties which are under the development stage where you can call it as no uh, say um, any any kind of a road work or parking areas or gardens so these kind of a valuation or those properties valuation can be done by this method as i written here this method of valuation is used for the properties which are in the uh, under developed stage or partly developed and partly under developed stage if a large place of land is required to be divided into the plots after providing for the roads paths etc this method of valuation is to be adopted in such cases the probable selling price of divided plots the area required for the roads paths etc and other expenditures for the development should be known if a building is required to be a renovated renovated by the making additional charges alterations or the improvements the development method of valuation may be used the next is uh, method uh, depreciation method of valuation depreciation method of valuation now here in this method this method you no know, the cost of each part of the building at the present rate is calculated based on the detail measurement the life of each part is calculated and then uh, that that based on that you are going to derive the valuation the valuation calculated is you no know, exclusive of cost of land amenities water supply electrical sanitary fittings etc and used for used only for building which are well maintained it is not well maintained then suitable deductions are considered in the valuation calculate calculated uh, the person uh, no what you are going to consider here that 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 interest rate and all those things no so those are depend directly on the calculation of or the cost of each part present uh, to the present rate and the uh, the present value of land amenities water supply electrical sanitary charges those should be added to find the uh, valuation of the total property uh, here as i said that according to this the, this method of uh, valuation the building should be divided into four parts walls roofs floors doors and windows uh, the Uh, the cost of each part should first be worked out on the present day rates by the detail measurement the present value of land water supply electric and sanitary fittings etc should be added to the valuation of building to arrive at total valuation of the property now here the formula i have given to calculate the uh, depreciation and uh, that is uh, depends on the uh, life of building and uh, depreciation value depends on life of building rate then uh, depreciation age of building right so these are the facts we are going to consider here the formula says that d is equal to p into 100 minus rd divided by 100 that raised to n where d is the uh, depreciated value r is the rate small d is the depreciation and n is the age of building in the years now here you will be having age of building in the year based on that you will be having the rd value so no need of determining r and d separately you will be having the rd value based on the life of building 100 years 1 75 years 1.3 50 years 2 25 years 4 and 20 years 5 now these are the values that you are going to use as rd in the formula d is equal to p into uh, 100 minus rd divided by 100 into n raised to uh, uh, that whole raised to yen the valuation calculated is, uh, is exclusive of uh, exclusive of uh, of land water supply electricity sanitary fittings etc as i said in the previous uh, slide also if it is not well maintained then the um, suitable deductions are considered in the valuation calculated above the present values of land amenities water su water supply electrical uh, and the sanitary fitting should be added to the uh, to find the valuation of the property valuation of building is separate and valuation of property is totally separate if you are getting only valuation of building then you are so, you are supposed to you no know, you are not supposed to add the cost of land amenities water supply electricity and sanitary fittings but when you are finding out or when you are getting the total amount or total cost for the property then you are supposed to add all these contingencies thank you this is what from my side i I, I try to explain it out the things whatever I know, and I hope that it is going to be incurred in your mind. And uh, I hope you follow the notes according to the notes. You just go through the notes. I have prepared the notes based on the.